Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who's given us the mountains and the valleys, the oceans and the seas, and all that we can see around us. God has given you this day. Let's make the most of it. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Haggai, chapter 2, beginning at verse 6. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the desire of all nations will come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. You know, as I think of these words of the, the minor prophet Haggai, I think about the fact that God has promised that he will come back. God has promised that the new glory will be greater than the former glory. And of course, uh, I think we, we think this new glory is through Jesus Christ and his, his bringing in the kingdom of heaven uh, to earth and the opportunity we have to live within that kingdom. But it also makes me think of what's to come and the fact that when we get to heaven, I'm much greater than the kingdom on earth because in heaven, there will be no more sin no more pain, no more death, and all those things. And so the, the new glory will be much greater than the former glory. Today, we live with the Spirit of Jesus in us. But imagine when we get to heaven and we're living with the Spirit of Jesus all around us. In fact, we're living with Jesus himself and, and God himself and, and, and being able to worship that way and yet still do the things God wants us to do. I don't know what heaven's really like, but I have to, uh, I want to believe at least that, that all the fun, all the good things that we have here, God has prepared for us in heaven. I mean, why give it to us here to take it away up there? So I think if you're into fishing or, or sewing or, you know, being with people or whatever uh, you love here on earth, those, those good things will be even uh, more so, maybe tenfold times or more in heaven when we get there. How awesome will that be? But God's promise is true. God's promise is there will come a day. God's promise is, is that at some point in time, he will shake the heavens and the earth, that all that we know will fall away, and there will be this new heaven, a new earth, a new perfect place for God with his people, with his children, uh, you and me. So today, let's rejoice. Let's be encouraged because we, we know that no matter what we're going through today, that nothing can take us away from the hand of God that we belong to him and nothing is greater than God. So obviously uh, we are safe. The only way we're not safe is if we remove ourselves from his presence, if we walk away from his presence. But God's presence, God's hand, God's strength is more powerful than any other force around us. Why? Because God is our creator and because God loves us. God loves you, not because of what you do, but because of who you are. Praise God for that. You are his child. You are his son or daughter. You belong to the king. And as long as we give our hearts to him, he will watch over us and protect us and walk beside us, and even carry us through the tough times. God is so faithful. Praise God for that. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the joy that we have to look forward to in heaven to come. And also thank you, Lord, for bringing your kingdom to earth through Jesus Christ. Father, we get to experience this side of the cross, what it means to serve a risen God and to have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding us from within our hearts. Father, how grateful we are for that, but how we also look forward to the day when we gather together as your children in heaven to be with you for all eternity, to get away from the evil and the, the, the plight of man here on earth, but to be in your kingdom forever. Father, thank you for so much to look forward to, and thank you for a, a lot, for keeping your promises that we might believe in your promises. Father, I just pray for who's ever watching today that you would bless them, that they would sense your presence in a mighty way, that you would wrap them up with your arms and hold them close to your chest. Father, may we hear your heartbeat. And may your heartbeat become ours. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. Please bless those who need a special blessing. So many with physical prayer problems, uh, mental problems, emotional problems, even spiritual problems. Bless each one according to your will. And may it bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Uh, God has always loved you. God will always love you. Choose to love him back today. And let's look forward to his kingdom to come. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.